Alrighty y'all, so today I am out in the tiny house working on installing this fireplace out here on this hearth through that wall up to the sky. So, let's get started. So, the parts that we have here are this Pleasant Hearth 1800 square feet fireplace that we picked up from Ace Hardware and then also uh, some chimney pipe, I'll get to that later. I built a hearth here just like the one that you see inside on the fireplace that is built into the wood uh, part there inside the living room. I built one just like that and set it here uh, with some natural slate tile and then I grout stained the boards so this eventually this whole corner area here will be painted black that way soot doesn't mark up the walls or anything crazy like that so this is all done so that's good for setting the fireplace on it but also I'm mounting the fireplace uh, pipe to go through the wall because I don't want to do the roof on here because it's just a metal bar panel roof and I don't want to do metal flashing and stuff. So, I find the studs, it is 16 inches on center in here, which makes it easier, but since we have an outlet here, the easiest way to see is beside this outlet there's a stud, and that stud is practically right in the middle of this hearth. So we're gonna have to try to sneak our pipe around it, that way we can go into the wall and not hit a stud when we attach our thimble to the wall. So. I'll go through the parts I have. So here I have some clip together imperial piping. These are 24 inch lengths. I bought three of them. Uh, two to go up and one to go into the wall. These are the clip together ones. Um, they're a little tricky, but they are really cheap. And um, saving some money when you're doing this matters because some of these parts are really expensive and some that you can get cheap, you should get cheap. So uh, there's some tricks on YouTube on how to bend this to get this stuff to clip together. A little tricky, but it's straightforward. So we have our pipe section, some elbows, and then in here, this is uh, stuff that goes outside. This is a 36 inch long Duraplus triple wall chimney pipe uh, to go outside. So that connects to our through the wall kit, which we bought on Amazon. So that is our Duraplus out through the wall wood stove chimney kit right there. And that is for everything you need, the thimble and everything to go through the wall. That's the kit that we are gonna be using. That prick pretty much has everything. We bought that on Amazon. I'll have everything linked below, which makes it easy. That way you don't have to do the work that I did to have to find all this stuff, especially right now. You still find your studs even through a wood wall. So we got one stud there. It kind of goes crazy here when you're going over wood, but it will still pick out the studs, and I know that there is a stud here. Right there. Okay, so we know where our studs are. Let's mark them. That way we know how to avoid them, and we don't need to mark this one because all we need to mark is this one. So it should be right beside that outlet. If you're doing this on sheetrock walls, stud finder will be much easier to use. Not get an instructional videos, but I'm going to try to make this light one because it's not many videos on YouTube on how to do this. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw lines right here on a stud. We have these two lines. This should be hollow earth right there. So we should be able to go through there and not hit any studs. So now we need to determine the height of where our thimble will go through. So let's go unbox our thimble. Go. So this is the kit that I brought in here, out through the wall kit. And I did price out buying all the individual pieces. It turned out cheaper just to buy the kit off of Amazon. Everything I bought was returnable because you make a lot of mistakes when you're buying this stuff. So helpful tip, look, make sure you know that your pipes connect because there's Dura Plus and there's DLV and a bunch of different stuff. So you want to make sure everything, if you're buying Dura Plus pipe, you buy just Dura Plus pipe. That way everything works good. Let's open this up and see what's in here. I think this should be the thimble maybe? I don't know. I have not opened this yet. This, this is the thimble. This is the part I need. Okay. Super cool. We'll go through one piece at a time. Okay, awesome. So this is the part that's going to be inside the black part. 
And uh, this galvanized part is going to be outside. Let's set it in this little bucket here. Grab this. This is the back plate. So this plate will go on the inside also. It will go over the pipe like this. But we'll do that at the end. That way we don't scratch it up. Put that back in there. Put this box over there. So here's our thimble. I think it's a 14 and a half inch hole that I had to cut in this wall. So that's fun. It's gonna go, so it's gonna go like right here, okay? So if it goes right here, that's kinda, kinda, I can turn it a little bit. That's kinda where our stove's gonna go. So our stove's kinda gonna go here. It's not gonna be lined up perfectly. I'm okay with that. You kinda gotta deal with it and stuff like this. It's not gonna be perfect. But, so the stove will be a little off-centered, but I think I might be able to fix that when I cut out this trim and move this heart flush to the wall. So the part that we need to check now is we are going to find out the height that we need this. Is, so let's measure the, from the feet to the top. 29 inches. Well then all we have to do is add our pipelines. So that's gonna be 24, 24, so that's slid in there. So, but that slid. Okay, so let's see. Well, I, all I wanted to get the measurement was is to see how high we can put this up. Because the higher we get this up, the higher it'll be out there, which means the higher our pipe can go. So I'm thinking our, this can safely go way up here. Poppy. You all are learning like me, so just kind of. Figuring it out, okay, so that front section comes off. This is the part we're gonna slide on. Alrighty y'all, so we're gonna set you down for a minute and get this lined up on the wall where we wanna mark it. Okay, so we got that marked out roughly where we want it. So what we did is we drew a line at the max where we can be off and we went down from there because we don't need to be that high and we can cut that pipe. So we line it up. I'm gonna put an X at like the widest part of the circle on each side right there, right at the edge of where we drew that circle. I'm gonna take a drill bit and drill into that to make sure there's no stud there. That way I can see if I, cause I don't wanna be hitting any studs. If I drill into it and there's stud, then I'll have to move over which way to find out where we'll slide between the studs. So if I drill, empty, drill, empty, then we're good. We can cut it out and then cut out the outside. Already all, so I got impact with a little Fit on there, I'm gonna drill out these X marks. And that's why I want to know. So I'm in the stud, so I'm gonna have to come back a little bit. I'll check this one. This one's gonna need to come over a little bit, so. That's in the stud, so. Alrighty y'all, so I ran into a small problem. It shouldn't be too crazy hard to figure out. Um, these studs here, you can see both of them where they should be. They're 16 inches on center, but not on center. They're kind of just 16 inches. So I have like about a half inch of stud right where I need to slide my thimble. The jigsaw cut through about half of the two by four. So I'm hoping when I come around cutting from the other side, it'll cut through the rest of the two by four and I can slide through like so. I measured the middle. It's kind of tricky, but you can just kind of guess with holding your tape measure over the hole, make a pencil mark. So I'm gonna drill to the outside, right here, like this. And then I can use that mark and then go on that. I might, I have two ways to do this. I can try to jigsaw it from the outside. I sh that's what I'm gonna do. I've seen a lot of people do that. If that doesn't work, I can always use my multi-tool and try to go around it inside. But I don't have a really good blade for that right now. And I don't have a really good blade for my jigsaw right now. So I took two pencils, tied them on a string, seven inches from tip to tip, hopefully. So we'll take this outside and I'll show you what I'm going to do with this. Stick the pencil in the hole. Should be able to just go around here. Just like this. And it might vary a little bit, but... I'll pretty much get the same round circle. Ready? Yeah. There we go. So, 
I'm decently lined up. Um, I have stuff installed. Okay, so now I'll get that thimble. We'll put it together and we'll slide it through. Screw it in. So. Sweet. So here's that thimble that came in that through the wall kit. Hopefully this can slide right through here. There's a little finagle in here. There we go. Yep, slides right through there. Okay. I'll line this up and let me go get some screws to screw this in there. And then we should be good to go. Um, I'll silicone around this edge and silicone the screws and silicone the pipe that goes through this. Um, once we get this done, the pipe that goes in, I mean, it literally, it's really gonna go pretty fast. I got all the tools cleaned up and now I'm just gonna vacuum this all out, get it cleaned up, that way we can set this fireplace up here, hopefully, without breaking anything. You just need to push it over. I wanna get it right in front of it, that way we can just go, Ooh, boom. And don't set it down hard, but that's oh. later, once we got screw it, so. Ah. Oh, wow. Ready? Yep. So we have to kind of get it. Up. There we go. Keep going. And now move it towards the fireplace. Okay. Okay. We have to unscrew that. This this uh, stove weighs about 300 over, about 300 pounds or so, give or take a couple hundred pounds. <laughs> give or take a couple pounds. So. You're, okay, look, Reformation, you want the bottom, you want the cup where you're going to put your arm through, like halfway. On the fireplace. Alright, ready? Yeah, ready? Lift with your uh, legs. Yep. Oh, man. Yo, yeah, channel down. Ah. Oh, baby. I felt it burning. I felt it burning too, dude. I felt like you were going to blow out. <laughs> Now we have to gently like, but that's easy. Yeah. Just shimmying it like inch, inch, inch. Now that looks nice right in the front like that. Oh, okay. Hey, oh, hey. Don't do anything. See, that's why I put that pipe there. It's got to come over. Okay, good. Oh, it's actually good. Strong. I would say move a little more. Oh, you actually got a nice small little nice magnet level. Magnet. Magnet, baby. Up on top. And you measure it. From like here? Yeah. So we got this all cut here, this little 18 inch section there. Lining up here. Oh, right there. And we want to make sure that it doesn't interfere with our food. Okay, we're good. So then, let's slide. Bang on, baby, bang on. That's how we do it. That's, that's so exciting. It. It's been so long. So, that's, that part's in. Which is cool, and it's lined up. Are you going to scooch it back, or? We did skip a lot, go ahead. Alrighty, so we skipped a little bit, sorry. Kind of got caught up in the moment, but it was straightforward. After we got that flange in, it pretty much puts itself together. You get the point. Um, we had to slide this T on here. This is a clean out T. And it shows you in the instructions, kind of, not really. But there's other great videos on how to do this. Um, this slides on, it turns on, all this stuff turns on. And then it kind of held itself there. We didn't have any of this stuff on there. Held itself there, we slid this into there. And we had to build this out just to make it that way we could screw it on there. Cinched that on there, screwed this in. She's good, she looks pretty good, I would say. Chimney doing, oh. and it looks really nice, and it looks really strong. So the last thing I have to do is caulk this crack right here on this flange. You run a bead of caulk or silicone, silicone really, around there. That way, no water ever trickles down and gets in there. Feel this. Alrighty, so you might be asking why I'm filling a uh, bee smoker up. Well, some professionals have um, smoke machines to test their fireplaces if it's the summertime. 
and don't want to actually light a fire, you just need smoke to go up your chimney to make sure no smoke leaks out in the path to your cap. So, for about 20 bucks, you can pick up a bee smoker like this from your local tractor spy, fill it full of pine needles, and set it inside your fireplace and use it just like a little smoke machine. So that is what I'm gonna do to be testing out this fireplace today. Got all my tools. What I'm gonna do is I can explain it to you pretty simply. You saw me put this together in the last bit of video. That was a couple days ago. All I need to do is there's holes here. There's three of them. You put screws in there to hold it that way and make sure that it's not in the way of your uh, flu your damper so you want to straighten out the pipe and then screw those self tapping screws right into the sides two on each side one on each side and that will hold this all together so that's what I'm gonna do real quick I'll show you when I'm done and then we'll get to smoke testing it Alrighty. so I put in all these screws right here screw here Screw there, and make it sure it looks straight and good, and it does. And make sure you can still adjust it afterwards. Uh, a tip that I forgot to say, which might be too late if y'all are doing this as you're watching this video. If you have a flue style like this, which is, it's a brick that slides back and forth, make sure that this isn't pushed down too far or this won't be able to work. So just right when you slide in this pipe, check it to make sure goes back and forth this is open I'm pretty sure this is closed open closed open so you want to lock it in the open position and the nice thing about the bee smoker is that there's no fire so if smoke starts billowing out we don't got to worry about a fire that you can't put that's gonna take a long time to put out I had to fix some of these stones in here when I got it from Ace Hardware everything wasn't lined up but that was pretty easy so now let's light that smoker and get started Alrighty, we're just lining this gum pretty good. We wanted to get a nice coal base in there. Kind of keep this door closed and start smoking it. I mean, pump a bunch of smoke in here. Now close this up. Smoke will rise. So, honestly, there's not that much smoke coming out of that. No smoke leaking out of here because this is sealed. Seal it up. And while that's filled with full of smoke, I don't see any smoke leaking out. I'm gonna go out to the chimney and see if smoke's coming out. So what I'm gonna do, yeah, the smoke is really coming out that chimney nicely. A lot more than I thought. So let's go back inside. There is a little bit of smoke coming out where I had that open accidentally. Had that, uh, there's a vent here that you can have open once you get the fire going. There is a little bit of smoke coming out the bottom from how it leaks, but in no other situation there will be this much smoke just staying in there. I'm just checking to make sure that the chimney doesn't leak. I know the fireplace will leak a little bit of smoke if you had like billows of smoke inside of there. So, none of this is leaking smoke, which is incredibly good. They didn't really want to redo this. So, we can... Uh, Get the bee smoker out of there and take it back outside and I think we'll be pretty good. And what's nice about this, no fire, no nuts. No nothing, stays nice and clean, especially if you're testing out in the summer. It is getting cold here at night still, but not cold enough to where it's like still 70 in the daytime, so not worth running a fire. So this job pretty much looks like we're almost 100% all done. All we have to do is repeat the process with the other one inside, and that is one fireplace installed. Alrighty y'all, so I hope that y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, like, share, and comment. Thumbs down if you want to, but we can't see it because YouTube doesn't like thumbs down for some weird reason. So, I hope that y'all had a blessed day. And I'm going to go enjoy the rest of my day and bring you along for anything else I do. And I'll give y'all updates soon 
on the next one day build that I do. Alrighty y'all, have a blessed day.